Hey, what's dirty guys? My name is Anime, and today I'm gonna talk a little about the skill-based matchmaking and all the talk that's going on with it, with it, and you know, all, all the YouTubers, uh, whether they be big or small, are sharing their opinions about it. So I figured, why not uh, throw my two cents in there? And a lot of the uh, YouTubers are very negative about the skill-based matchmaking being in public matches. You know, a lot of them are saying, you know, leave it to league play. You know, if you want to play against good players, go play in league play. But uh, I disagree. I think I think that skill-based matchmaking does have a place in uh, public matches because I'm one of those people who like a challenge for, uh, for starters. Okay, um, me going into a game and just annihilating the other team because they are shitty. They're literally like pretty. They might as well just be AFK from their controllers. Um, it's no fun to me, for me. Like I, in Modern Warfare 3, I lost interest in it because of the fact that I was be I was able to smash the shit out of people without even thinking about the game like I put no thought into my strategy in Modern Warfare 3 even Black Ops 1 um, and actually I put more thought into Black Ops 1 than I did Modern Warfare 3 because as we all know Modern Warfare 3 was a thoughtless game you just go and shoot <laughs> like come on let's be honest but uh, I enjoy a challenge I love facing people who are at the same skill level as me where I have to know what they are doing and I, I pretty much every single time I have to outthink myself every time I go into a gunfight or uh, into a, a new lobby. I have to. That's pretty much what I'm doing. I have to go in and think about what I would do and see if they do. And if they do do it, I have to go and outplay myself. That's more or less the way how I see it. And because of this, it's molding me as a better player, learning to outplay myself. Will make yeah. In, in the end, will make me a better player. And, uh, like, and back to the challenge thing, like, uh, th like, I remember playing, uh, what was it, Silent Hill and, um, Resident Evil. Those games were awesome to me. They were a lot more fun because they had the strategy element to it, the, the puzzles and stuff that always kept me thinking and engaged in the game. And, like, now you look at the new Silent Hills and the new, um, Resident Evil, where is the puzzles? Like, honestly, like, where is the actual, I mean, like, the actual puzzles that you actually have to think about? Because, yeah, there are puzzles, but they're like, okay, get this square block and put it in this square hole. Like, like I'm playing with a, a fucking baby to toy. That, like, my, my fucking niece plays with those guns. Uh, those guns. Jesus, those games. Plays with those blocks, so we put them in the, the square hole, whatever. That, that's pretty much how those new games feel to me. And that's pretty much how Call of Duty was feeling for me uh, in Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3. That's pretty much what it was, was put my gun in someone's face. That's pretty much what it was. And I'm glad now that I actually have to stop and think about what I'm doing. Like, I, when I played Modern Warfare 3 Black Ops, I could play it with a podcast in the background. I could play with music playing in the background and not give a shit. I could be watching a movie and have 90% of my t attention on the movie and I'll still come up with a 60 and 0 game. Okay, I'm over exaggerating there, but you get my point. Um, but with the skill based matchmaking, I can't do that. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll put on a podcast and I'll have to shut it off because. I need to actually think and strategize because I'm playing with people who are just as good as me, and it's mold. Like I said, it's molding me to become a better player, and uh, you know, it's just to me that is what is going to keep this game exciting. Is because it's going to get progressively harder as I become better. So does everyone else that I face. Um, I don't know. That's that's pretty much what I think. But I think it's a, a smart move because, like I said. If it's making me better, it's going to make those bad players better as well. I mean, number one, um, those bad players are going to stick around because they're not getting shit on by people like me, like Market J, or Fear Crads, X Jaws, and stuff like that. Because they're playing with people who are on their level. Of course, um, the way this matchmaking thing goes, it's not always going to be spot on. There are going to be people who are better than you, and there are going to be people who are going to be a little bit lower than you. I mean, uh... Because, like I said, like when you throw uh, on variables like switching your uh, search preference to best, they're going to find um, people who are around your skill level, not exactly on. So sometimes it'll be below, sometimes it'll be above. But regardless, I I, I find it more impressive in Black Ops 2 seeing a high kill game uh, and someone playing the objective. 
in Black Ops 2 just because of the fact that I know that they are against people on their own uh, on the same skill level. Like, I, I, I don't know. But anyways, guys, my time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your comments, your ratings, and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links to that will be in the description below. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the skill-based matchmaking system in this game. Do you guys want it uh, gone? Do you guys want it to stay? Should, you, should it be left to league play? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, a stay dirty.